So what I would conclude by saying is the following. Everybody has the right to have a personal responsibility for their own decision making. If you are told that there was an army invading the United States and was bearing down on Charlotte, that there was credible information that bombs were going to be dropped, you would take shelter somewhere because objective information requires rational thinking. And if there's a threat, you want to reduce the risk of that threat. Some people will say, oh, I don't believe it. Uh, this is conspiracy theory. But if they have factual information and they discard it, then so be it. They have that responsibility and independence to make their own decisions. What I want to ensure and advise is that you have the right information about the safety, about the science, about the reason why the vaccines are under emergency use approval, hopefully soon to be full approval. Understand the difference between side effects and complications. And then make a personal decision that is in the best interest of yourself, your family, and your friends. Look for factual information. And I hope that I've helped you along this journey. I feel very comfortable within the context of current science and vaccine technology that the way to counteract COVID-19 and keep us safe as families and as a country is to get vaccinated. There's a significant imperative around vaccinations that go beyond the individual person or family. It's about the larger concept of society in the United States even in North Carolina as we speak today. And that's the need for herd immunity. As we stand today, just under 51% of the entire United States is vaccinated. And for us to get herd immunity, we need to be at about 80%. What does herd immunity mean? It means that we're seeking to get a critical mass of people vaccinated such that the virus has nowhere to land. And predictive models have demonstrated that that number is about 80%. We're way off that. And the consequences of not getting to herd immunity is that we will not eradicate COVID-19. The need for booster shots is becoming likely for that reason, just today, we are hearing that the FDA and CDC are talking about booster shots for people who got previous vaccines. We heard last week that the FDA and CDC have recommended booster shots for people who are immunocompromised, immunocompromised, people who have weakened immune systems, people who may be on chemotherapy, and people who may have had organ transplantation and otherwise, and also people who are above the age of 65 because natural immunity opportunity decreases the older one gets and does decline above the age of 65. So the FDA and the CDC are methodically following the trajectory of COVID-19 and are making responsible additional recommendations based on how things are evolving. And that need for booster shots is becoming a reality because we have not been able to get to herd immunity. So thank you for listening to me today. For those of you that had some gaps in information and were relying on misinformation, I hope that I may have clarified the situation to some degree. Um, I'll just emphasize again that I want you to make decisions responsibly based on the real scientific data 
that's out there, which continues to be very compelling in regards to the safety and the efficacy and efficiency of the vaccines. And the need to know this is critically important, significantly important in the African American population, because absent of us getting vaccinated, we're getting sicker and more of us are dying. Thank you very much.